Katia v5, we're gonna take a look at the following feature over here. So within my previous video, I discussed join and healing, and now we're gonna take a look at curse mode. This is available within Janity Shape Design, and we're gonna see that we can make use of curse mode in order to check for, um, in this case, for example, we can check for a tangency, but we can also check if you have any gaps within a curvature, within a sketch, within um, even made from spline, so it's not mandatory to be sketch, you can also use wireframe. And this can be used to create better geometry, so mostly we can influence the, the smoothness of the curvature. For example, over here, if I will go with continuity set to threshold, we can specify over here a tangency threshold. For example, if I will add 5 degrees over here, we're going to see that for 5 degrees over here, we are going to be below that. So we're going to see the point is continuous at the 0 0.002 millimeters. Over here, this will be again discontinuous. But over here at the top, those will be with red, with a threshold of 5. If I will change that, for example, 0 0.1, we're going to see that this will also be in red. So we see that the tangency between those two will not um, fulfill this. We can also go by curvature. If I will hit preview, this will mainly be regarding the deviation of that. And we see the resulting curve will be this one in uh, white. And we have the original selected one, which is in teal over here. If I will increase in this case the deviation, we're going to see that with two, limit, two millimeters, Katia will smoothen on this curve like this. If I will go up all the way up to 5, we're going to see how differently that shape will be. But now the curvature will be more smooth over here. So if I will click OK, we're going to see the newly outputted surface over there. I can select it. In this case, I want to extrude it on the x-axis. Then I can go with, for example, 35 and 35. And we're going to see that newly defined surface over here. I'm just going to make this a different color, for example, green, so we can better visualize that. As we can see also, the spline will not be perfectly within a single plane. So this is why we have multiple points over here, and afterwards, using the spline within the wireframe, those have been connected, so that this will not be everything defined within a single sketch. If you're going to take a look at additional options over here, so now if I will click on this, we're going to see that there is no discontinuous to smooth. So in this case, that newly resulted sketch can no longer be smoothed. But I can always make the this one, so the initial one visible over here, and I can do some different smoothening over here. I can go with tangency. And again, for this, we're going to have a maximum deviation. I can go with 3 millimeters. And we will see that that will be that um, resulting face over here. We can go with point. And we see it in white. So keep that in mind that the, the newly defined spline will be over here at the top with white. We can also decide to select various elements that we want to freeze. So basically those will not be smoothened if they will be freezed. But uh, in order to do that, you need to have the surface divided into multiple sections so you can select individual faces. We can also change the extremities. So if we're going to go with curvature, this will be for the endpoints. We can change that to tangency, for example. And again, we're going to see that newly defined smoothen curve in white over here. And there's also some visualization options over here. So solutions, we can visualize all or none. And let me just <coughs> quickly draw a new spline over here. I'm going to make this within the same sketch. So the new spline will look like this. And if I will draw a line between those two points, 
and I will have this trimmed. If I will also have this extruded, we see that will be so that will be the case of the curve over here. I can click over here on curve in order to smoothen this out. I can select it. And if I will go over here with tangency with five, we're gonna see how that newly defined curve will look like. So if you don't want that those tangency to be so large, you can lower that amount for the maximum deviation. I can now click OK and we're gonna have that newly defined surface over here. So I can just select it and have that again extruded. But just like previously, I will need to define the direction for that. And now, if I'm going to change the color, maybe in red, we're going to see the initial surface, which had that line added over there. And to the back, we're going to have the one that has been um, smoothed. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this kind of content. I will position a similar video over here on the left side and a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.